Just about a year ago, Mini launched its most unique model ever, the Countryman Crossover. And it was unique because, well, it was a crossover, and also because it was the brand's first ever with all-wheel drive. Uh, fast forward to today, and they're launching the next new model in their product to push, and it's this, the Mini Coupe. So what exactly is different about this new car? Well, that's what we're here at its launch in Nashville to find out. We just spent the afternoon flogging this incredible front driver on the autocross, and we're glad to say that at least in this respect, it's also unlike the regular hatchback model. Uh, actually, it's better thanks to the fact that Mini has made this the fastest Mini ever, with the John Cooper Works model doing 0 to 60 in just 6.1 seconds. Uh, we're not testing uh, the base Cooper model, though, with 121 horsepower today, uh, just the Cooper S and the John Cooper Works models here at the autocross. The Cooper S makes 181 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque uh, in a special overboost function when you press the sport mode. Uh, now, the John Cooper Works model, this model right here, makes 208 horsepower and 207 pound-feet of torque in that same overboost mode uh, thanks to an uprated version of the same 1.6-liter turbo four-cylinder. Uh, now, it's funny, on the autocross track, the John Cooper Works model actually feels sort of like you can overdrive it a bit easier, which is just, you know, it's begging to be driven a little harder and really ask that of you. Um, one of the reasons for that is that the models that we're testing today, the Cooper S's, actually have the same uprated tires, the stickier high-performance 205 tires that come standard on the John Cooper Works model. While a noble effort on the Cooper S model, the JCW brakes are really impressive. And you can just feel that on this autocross, you're not getting uh, the most out of them at all. They really have a lot more to give. And even in the hard braking zones, you're wishing that you were going a whole lot faster and a whole lot more to brake, uh, and that we, this was actually a real racetrack. So uh, that's one of the most impressive features of the John Cooper Works models by far. The best, however, happens to be the fact that we have to thank Mini for giving us a fully defeatable traction and stability control system. It's a standard on the JCW and can be ordered on other models as well. Uh, it's really impressive, and when you flick everything off, it actually engages an electronic limited slip differential. Now, uh, normally for street driving, we're you know, a little disappointed that this car doesn't come with a regular limited slip differential because it's a lot easier just to keep all the power in check when you're driving around the city. Uh, but when it comes to sort of really hard performance driving, you turn everything off, uh, and it's amazing how well the electronic limited slip has to put the power down coming out of a corner, uh, especially at the end, some of the faster sections on this autocross course. Sharing much of its underpinnings uh, and even having roughly the same dimensions as a hatchback model, the coupe even gets the exact same three engine choices. Uh, now, it does have two fewer seats than the hatchback, although with the hatchback model, the rear seat doesn't really have any functional usable space anyway, so that's not really that big of a difference after all. Uh, and to make it even more confusing, uh, the coupe's trunk opening is actually more like a hatchback than the hatchback. Inside, everything is very familiar. Uh, there's some small different changes in here from the hatchback model. Uh, you can see that they've actually sort of put these sculpted areas in the roof, which you can see on the outside of the car. Uh, and because uh, it's only a two-seater, there's a little ledge back here, and you can even pretty easily grab uh, an open pass-through that goes right into the trunk, which is handy. Uh, on top of that, the biggest change is probably to the Mini Connected system, where they've upgraded it uh, with a new feature. You can see here, uh, this is uh, the Mog app. Now, you just download it on your iPhone. Uh, unfortunately, it is only for iPhones now, but uh, they have promised it'll be coming to the Android system soon. Um, and basically, instead of Sirius Satellite Radio, where uh, you pay your money and you're forced to listen to whatever's on the channels, uh, this is basically a uh, choose-your-own service. Uh, there's about 12 million different songs on their system, uh, and you can make playlists, and it's all for just 10 bucks a month. If you're a music enthusiast, this is a, a great system. 
In many continuing war on ergonomics, there is of course a downside to the car's cool style. Uh, in particular, the steeply raked front windshield. Uh, and the problem here is that it really blocks out a lot of your view and reduces visibility. Now, uh, it doesn't reduce visibility out front of the car and you can see out front fine, but it's what's above the car. And that's a real pain when you're driving around the city uh, and you can't see the lights and you keep having to look over. Now, that's a really common problem uh, on roadsters and for good reason, because Mini is planning on introducing a roadster version of this car in the near future. Along with increased performance, what's really so unique about the Mini Coupe is its design. Uh, you look at it straight on from the front and it looks just like the hatchback as well, uh, but get a profile shot and it's a very, very different vehicle. Uh, you've got up front a much more steeply raked windshield uh, by about 13 degrees actually, and the car sits about uh, an inch, 1.3 inches lower. Uh, it's also got this unique, although a little bit dorky helmet roof to it. It's a bit strange looking. Uh, and out of the back, one of the most unique features is a retractable spoiler. It's not just a first for Mini, but it's a first for the BMW group as a whole. Uh, you can find all that, especially in a John Cooper Works model like this one here, and it really looks masculine and aggressive, and that's what Mini was going for with the new coupe.